I love all these things like focus on 30 days. I've got energy and excitement about it. Um, I don't know if I'm blocking distractions as much as I should. I, I definitely am not um, pruning like I should. Um, I, but I'm really struggling even where to start. So where, where, where do you start when you've got something like that that you want to take on? Like writing a book, for example. I, I know I'm not going to get it done in 30 days, but I know I can make progress True. in 30 days. So, but I don't even, I'm like, I'm, my problem is getting out of the starting gate. I haven't even left the starting gate yet, Jeff. Like I'm just, <laughs> it's still in like dreaming mode. I think for me, there's one key strategy that is probably very challenging during COVID, but I think it's one that will play out long term for most people, which is having a specific location to do certain types of work. Mm. So a book is a great example. Um, I've written, the, well, I guess, the last two books at a library here in Nashville. And so I physically will leave my house, leave my home office, go to a library where I'll sit into this very like dark corner of the place where no one is around. And that's where I do my writing. And I chose that location because not only is it a, a different place than where I am normally, but it, it fits that same mold of being a focused environment. So I don't have the distractions. And I've also like predetermined, this is where I write. And so when I go there, this is what I do. Like if I'm in the studio, I'm recording. That's, that's what I do there. And when you have like, or going to the gym is a good example. Like when I go to the gym, I'm not gonna write a blog post when I'm there. Like that's not re reasonable to do, it makes no sense. So if you go to the gym and you're wearing your gym clothes and you're ready to work out, at the end of the hour, you're gonna have worked out. And I'm trying to figure out for my own goals, how do I make mm. sure that I get myself into the place with the materials that I need, ready to do that activity. And when all those pieces are lined up, starting is way easier because you've overcome all those obstacles and those excuses and those reasons not to get started because you're already there you have all the materials you've cleared the time but why not just go and then that's when you have to just that's the I don't know, the execution aspect of actually beginning but you're tr doing whatever you can to clear that path to make that possible and if you don't intentionally like pinpoint every single one of those reasons why you haven't done it yet then they'll keep coming up so you ask yourself, well, I haven't written my book yet. Well, what exactly has stopped me? Like specifically, what's the exact reason why I've not done it? And you just one piece at a time, get rid of those excuses. And then when it's time to write, it's time to write and you're ready. And that, that's the goal with any activity is get yourself to the starting line because you've intentionally pr made that possible for yourself. Yeah, I, I love that. That's so simple, but so important. Because when I think when I finished my last book, I'd gone to a writing retreat. I, I wasn't quite done. And I went to a writing retreat. It was in Louisville. And it, I was in the workspace, workspace section. And I got, went into a little room and like wrote for three or four hours at a time. And it was just this concentrated space. And I was using the weekend to finish it. And I nailed it. It was great. Um, and so having that space, it's like I wouldn't work out in my office because there's <laughs> other work coming my way. You know, I would put on my yes. workout clothes and go to the gym. Exactly. So simple, yet so powerful. Um, okay, so my last topic for us today. I love all this. This is all about stuff we can control. Like, we got our own goals. We're setting these. We're going to control of our calendar. What happens now when someone else puts their hand into that pot and starts stirring it? They're, they're cooking in our <laughs> kitchen. In other words, you know, we have, for example, we have a boss who, decide, who will set our goal. Mm -hmm. We work in a workplace where people don't honor the time we block off on our calendar, and they override it with a meeting right? They're time thieves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They don't care. We've told them, we even put on there, like going to my grandmother's funeral. They don't care. They like <laughs> put a meeting on there. They're like, no, nah, you got a meeting. It's uh, you, I don't right. know why you need to be there, but just, you just need to be there. W what do you do when other people kind of mess up some of these best practices? 